So this is the Montana mask downloaded from the internet. There's multiple sources to get to it. But I made this for my wife who is a nurse. Uh, she's been using the same mask for two weeks. Um, they haven't got any new ones in yet. And so this is how I printed it with PLA plastic and some of the modifications that I've made to make it fully functional. Again, this is just the mask itself. Um, had to do a couple little tweaks to make it a fully functioning mask. Do a little cleanup on it. So when I printed this the first time, it was a little bit um, small in the regard that it was pressing against my nose and my wife's nose right here, and the lips were being pressed against the the back of the filter here. So on my second print, I'm going to stretch it on the Z. I'm going to unlock the Z. I'm going to stretch it, make it 15% larger, 1.15 1 to make it a little bit longer, but uh, keeping the X and the Y the same. So this is the mask here, after a little bit of sanding around the edges to make it comfortable. This is the mask itself. So. For this Montana mask, there's only one size here, and my wife's nose is a little bit smaller than what this model is. So I'm going to, uh, her bridge of the nose is a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to heat up the nose part a little bit, so that I can kind of shape it a little bit. So now, let's see, the nose is a little bit more narrower that fits her, uh, that will fit her better than what the stock size our model was. So these are the replacement that I fitted and the situation right now is my wife does has been using the same mask for two weeks. Um, and the ideal thing is to cut that mask up because it has some, I, probably some charcoal um, stuff in it uh, as an active um, barrier block for viruses. But in the case, uh, if you don't have anything at all, I was thinking if you can use anything, it'd be a cotton ball. And if you just, this one's too big, so I'm going to cut it in half or take half of it. Push it in there. Put this on here to lock it in place or keep it in place. Make sure it's all fitted in there. There. And that pressed in there. Again, that's not the ideal, but this is the situation where you have nothing. What can you use as a filter material um, to use to, you know, block stuff out? So this is what I came up with. Okay, so we're going to take this mask and we're going to cut it up the size of that and stick it in there. Okay, so this is a strip of that mask here. Just going to put it in here. And back and forth, back and forth. A couple of layers here. in there and get to the mask and that's what you got 
So the final part to this is the straps. What kind of straps are we going to use for this? And so my wife has these little spongy hair, um, they're not um, hair um, bands. I cut it in half. So now we're going to fit it on this through the little eyelets of that and see how that goes. So here's the end result. She looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. Mm. But anyway, she has a mask now. Look, I am your father.